Lucy's always just been like a big baby. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> oh, gross! Uh-oh, not good. She left us. Welcome back to another vlog. So last vlog, I was actually really excited for the vlog that's actually happening today. But what happens in our life is that like crazy things will happen when I'm filming and then it just like changes course. So that's what actually happened in my last vlog. As you can see in the title of this vlog, we are going to visit the cows and I'm so excited to show you that. But that actually happened technically in my last vlog, but so much stuff happened with like the chicks and the ducks that I just didn't have any room to put it in that vlog. So it's in this vlog. So hopefully there's not as many distractions because I had such a good time going to see the cows and I cannot wait to show you. They're so cute, exactly how like they always are. And like I've told you before, the cows only live like three or four minutes away from me. So I am able to see them whenever I want. Obviously all the times I don't really film them because it's just like impromptu. But I figured that I should show you guys the cows, bring you guys along with me for a visit because it's been a bit since you guys have actually seen them. So we'll do that. But last vlog I showed you that we had a lot of chicks brewing but none of the chicks have hatched yet. So they might have a couple more days than I thought, but I have an opportunity right now because Mrs. Butters is not on her nest to so just peek out a couple of her duck eggs and make sure that we're still growing. Luckily enough, she hasn't laid any more eggs than what are already here, I believe. So we can do a quick count, two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. So there's 12 duck eggs and then all of our chick eggs that who knows if they're coming along or not, but my livestock marker wasn't very good at drawing on these because I don't see what I've done. I think this might be a little bit of remnant. So I'm just gonna grab this one. I was just trying to look for the ones with the X's on them because the one with the X's is I couldn't really see any growth. So I wanted to see if we had any growth on them, but oh well, I'm just gonna grab a couple so we can see how they're coming along. And we'll check these really quick in the tech room. So I grabbed four. So this one looks good. Lots of veins. Let's see if I can look at it from over here. Definitely veins. I'm hoping that this was one of the ones that had an X on it, just because I'm not seeing too much like crazy development on this. And we did check them a little bit ago, but we'll see. Next one, kind of same thing actually. But I do know that duck eggs take a little bit longer then chick eggs, so maybe that's why the growth is a little bit slower. I've never actually like incubated or hatched out duck eggs, so this is a first for me. You say hi, Jenny's being so affectionate and sweet right now. This horse, like I know it's so weird, but she loves like when we kiss her nose. She's like the softest nose. And one day I was just like right next to her and I kissed her nose and she just stood there. And I just kept kissing her nose and she loves it, you know? Someone saw this happen one time when I was letting the horses rub on me and they were giving me a lecture in the comments about my horses like pushing me around, but here's the tea. I'm okay with my horses rubbing on me. There are so many different things that some horse owners allow their horses to do that others don't. So some things, if you're a horse owner that your horse might be able to do to you, I don't allow, but there's other things that my horses do to me that you might not allow <laughs> that I allow. And one of those things is them rubbing on me. Um, now, if they're under saddle and stuff like that, that's a no-go for me. And they know that's a no-go for me. Under saddle, there's actually a lot of things that are like no-goes for me that I actually let them do when they're not under a saddle. And horses are really smart and they do understand that. So my horses under saddle are different than they are just like hanging out with me. I think it's really nice when my horses like rub on me, as long as they're not being like too disrespectful or rude. If they're trying to itch their eyes and stuff, they're not being disrespectful in my opinion. They're just trying to rub their eyes and they don't really have like scratching posts to like rub their face on and things. So if I can be their scratching post, I'm gonna let them like, if there's flies in their eyes all day and I can help them out, I'm gonna. So I <laughs> wanted to give you that little disclaimer, but Miss Butters is back. All of her eggs are back. No need to worry, Mrs. Butters. And uh, yeah, she's headed back to her nest. I literally just missed it by a second, but little Miss Petey was over in the ducks coop and not just hanging out like on the ground. She was in the little like, I don't know what you call it, like up there where they would roost, which actually a chicken would roost. The ducks never use like the up there house. And Miss Petey was just in there. That was so cute. What were you doing in there, Petey? Go back to the house. Is that a good little, now it's no longer called a duck house because the ducks are hardly ever in it. It's a cat house. Okay, look how cute she is. I just caught her in here again. Is this your hangout spot? 
Happy. But before we go visit the cows, I want to give you guys a little bit of a report on the chickens that we've left in the coop now for like four days or so. Um, I have to bring them some food over there because they're going through their food a lot faster. All my buddies think I'm coming to check on them. Hi friends. Hello. Hello. Dinky. So checking on the birds in here. Everyone's doing good. Everyone's still alive, which is good. There's actually one hen that's missing because they can somehow get out of the windows and the windows aren't open very much, but I obviously need to keep the windows open so they have some ventilation. A little friend cash here, but they'll like get out of here and I don't know how they get out of here. But anyways, it's time to fill up the feed and collect eggs. They're still good on their water, which is good. They're making the coop a bit messier than they normally would because they're not always in here, but since they've been in here for a bit, But we are going to feed so much more. We have some eggs to collect today, which has only been a couple days, but my chickens are not very nice and they like to eat the eggs. I only picked up one egg, aka okay, collected one egg, because I wanted to give it to them. Oh, gross! <laughs> that was not completely part of my plan, but I'm gonna collect a couple more and actually give them to the pigs. So this is the chicken that's escaped for today. So this happens every so often. And Mike and I have to get them. Let's see if we can capture a chicken. She's coming your way, Mike. Just go towards her. Uh-oh, not good. She left us. That was, come back. Tinky, we need your help. It's not over, chicken. Stewie went into the pen by himself. And so he gets an egg first. <laughs> She's such a ham. Ham and eggs. They're just ham and eggs. <laughs> They're sharing one. Chippy, have an egg. Muffin's got two eggs. Muffin's smart, that's why. Yep, Muffin is smart. For some reason, like, Cookie doesn't really know how to open them. She's taking the ones that are already open from the others when there's three good eggs here. Get another egg, it's like An Easter. Easter. <laughs> the breakfast bunch eats breakfast. And they're just passing by the eggs. Yeah. All right, you guys, well, now that we've had all that fun, it's time to take it over to us going and visiting the cows. I'm so eager to show you guys how fun it was. And I absolutely loved seeing them. It's so windy. Look at their forelocks. They're blowing in the wind. So majestic. It's great weather out, guys, isn't it? Huh? It's beautiful. Or maybe that's just you. Someone asked me in my last video, how do I tell the different cats apart? So I think I just saw Mishka. So maybe I can do this really quickly to show you guys. Crazy. Meow, meow. Okay, so Crazy is like the leanest of all the black cats. He's actually like a very like skinny cat, but Crazy's eyes are like lower. They kind of like his eyelids, the top eyelids kind of are lower. He kind of looks a little bit mysterious, um, but mostly the biggest difference that I can tell with him is that he's a much more petite cat. So that's how I can tell mixed with his eyes because Petey's also a petite cat, but his eyes and his face structure is a little bit different than Petey's. But typically off the bat, I notice his difference because he is more petite. And then when he gets up close, his eyes are like a dead giveaway and his mannerisms. Now Mishka, his eyes are much bigger, but still mysterious, but he's not as petite. He's more of like a filled out cat. So typically I can tell um, because he's more filled out than the others. And he has just like this like exotic look to him. Like he just looks like a, like a literally like a black panther to me or like very like Egyptian to me. Um, so we've got more of like an exotic look. So he is very easy for me to distinguish between the other two cats because of his exotic look. And now last but not least, besides Fluffy the cat that comes and visits us, Katie looks more like a house cat. Her face is more like, I don't wanna call it buttony, but it's round. You can definitely see how her face is different. It's more of a rounded face. She does look more so like crazy than she does Mishka, but even like, hey, be nice. As you can see between the faces, 
she's more like a scrawnier face um, and hers is more like a little round ball and she is more filled out than crazy less bulky than Mishka and if you keep up with my videos regularly you'll know that another little cat comes around that we've kind of named Fluffy and she's another little black cat she's not ours but she always just eats our cat food and she comes around quite often so she looks so similar to Petey that I often get them confused the only main difference is that she has a fluffy tail but she still has that round like small petite face petite body about the same size as Petey but the tail is completely different she has a very fluffy tail where Petey's is just like slender I guess is the right word I had to get out of that crazy wind Oh my goodness, it feels really good, but it's just so windy, so hopefully the audio on this is not completely bad. But we just jumped in Mike's truck, and Mike actually got a new truck, so super exciting. I'm sure you guys have seen, well, you definitely have seen when we've done like our challenges and stuff, um, his Ford that he had, and he got a little upgrade, and now he's in a GMC. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more fancier of a truck. So that's what it looks like. And there's Mr. Fancy Fancy himself. <laughs> <laughs> but we're off to go see the cows. Guys, I'm pulling up and look who it is. Can we spy any little butts? There's Albert's butt right here down to the bottom right. Moose is behind him and there's Jojo. They have no cares that we are here. Hi, Albie. Jojo means. Come here, girl. I forget these ones' names. I think one's Dixie or something like that. Look at all their Dixie cow Donna. friends. Yeah, Donna's over there, the little one. She's gotten bigger. Look at all their cow friends everywhere. It's honestly a really cool sight to see them. <laughs> I wish they would come say hi to me. I really want to see my moosers over Moose. there. Moose! Moose! Come here, buddy! Still know. Oh, yeah. He must do the whistle to them. Oh, look at my moosey boy. Hi, Jojo. Hi, pretty mama. You're so light. Yeah, she's so light. She's lightened up. She has no coat right now, though, it looks like. Yeah, she's she doesn't look thin. fuzzy. She looks like she has no coat. Hi, Moosey. Hi, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Hi, big boy. I wish I brought them something, but I don't really have anything for the cows nowadays, like cattle cubes or anything, but I probably should just get some for when I come visit and bring them some cubes with me, but I will next time. Hi, Bubba's. He's so much taller than me, but the ground right where I'm standing is higher because it's like the road compared to where he's standing. He's like more downhill. So for once in my life, I'm at the same height as his head. Um, he's always so much bigger than me. I kind of feel more empowered because <laughs> usually he towers over me. He's like as tall as Mike. Oh, you're such a good boy. You are such a good boy. Oh, look, I got a lick. Oh, whoa, sandpaper tongue. Thank you. You're very nice. This is like the nicest she's been to me. You are so nice. You're good, baby. <laughs> Mike, would you like to feel it? Yeah, you sure. go ahead. Let's see if your hands taste good. Yum. <laughs> Not as good. Nope. <laughs> you just washed yours. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Mike with his ripped shirt. But he's like so much taller than Moose right so now. Moose. <laughs> yeah, right. Moosey boy, I miss you, buddy. Moosey's always just been like a big baby. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> oh, good night, Moose. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and bring him some cubes and such, cause he's a good boy. You got him where he loves it. It's kind of nice, right? Being taller than him, Mike. Yeah, it's not as scary. He'd be on my shoulder. Yeah, right. Literally, he was always so much taller than us, so we always had to really watch our back, cause of how much taller we. Ew. <laughs> she definitely doesn't care about us being here as much as Moosey does. Al doesn't care in the slightest at all. Come here. Come here, baby. No, she's like, I don't care, sorry. She's just saying, oh, there's people here. <laughs> Which that's sad because I raised her just like I raised Moose from a baby, but he's just a little bit of a mama's boy. There she is, hi, sweet girl. <laughs> My gosh, look at her. Oops. She's not into it like Moosey is. Moosey wants all the scratchies. Aw. Some things never Boink. change. Boink. That's cool. I like that they still hang out and such. Look, we have a little jelly bean. It's like, oh, I want people scratchies. <laughs> oh my gosh, the wind just took my brother for a second. That's pretty cute. 
<laughs> I like him. He's a Donna got bigger, but she still wants nothing to do with us. I had so much fun seeing the cows. It made me so happy to go over there. And like I said in the beginning of the video, they live really close to me, so I often see them. It's like not a huge deal. I still like think I own them, which is interesting. And I just feel like they live somewhere else because I could see them whenever I want. And it's just like they're doing the same thing, same names, everything's all good and dandy. But if you guys liked today's video, if you guys liked coming along with me to see the cows, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section down below because I always pick a comment for my shout out. Today's shout out goes to, are you guys, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.